Well, so long, Colossal Con. Hopefully we see you next year. Hopefully. If uh, you do come back, it's much bigger, much better, more stuff to do. Uh, the people are always great, fantastic cosplay and everything like that. Uh, but we did get some pretty cool singles at the flea market. The prize at the end of the day. It was actually pretty cool. And guys, I gotta be honest. This Billy Bob token is just amazing. I love it so much. And he is going to be presiding over today's opening. Welcome, Billy Bob. And first, we're going to go over the flea market purchase. I believe I got all of these from one, um, one guy who was selling some singles. A lot of magic. I think some one piece. A few slabs. Uh, graded slabs. And, uh, you know, a... a varied assortment of Yu-Gi-Oh singles. So I went digging and I found these bad boys. We have a Relinquished from the Master Collection 1. He's got a bit of a corner there. A little, little dirt, little scuffing on the back. But overall some decent condition. Uh, these first cards are all going to be a little rough. Some uh, nostalgia but for the most part, actually, not too bad. As I drop one. Yeah, the scuffing on that one's pretty bad. But it is a really old card. Starter deck Pegasus. And this beautiful ultimate rare serial spell. One of the two ultimate rares that I found in this guy's pile. Uh, not worth an incredible amount, but still beautiful. It's going to be fantastic sitting in its nice little page of other ultimate rares. But this is uh, RDS. Return of the Duelist? Yeah, I'll have to look that up. Uh, neither one or first edition, which would have, especially this one, would have helped out greatly. But also in their condition... Bent corners. The back on this one is actually very, very nice. That poor corner. A beautiful Dark Mirror Force. First edition from Invasion of Chaos. Uh, one that I was actually surprised at the value, I believe. But once again, boy, look at that back. Scuffs, got some dings and scratches. But still, beautiful binder card. An XC tank cannon. I didn't take them out of the sleeves when I was looking through them. I was just getting a... I just saw some cards, pulled them out, and made an offer. I think it was 55 is what we settled on. I think I ordered... I think I offered 42 or 45. And I looked up some of the cards to be sure about the value. Most of them were couple of dollars one or two dollars at most uh but a couple of the card values actually quite surprised me uh some were a lot lower than i thought were somewhere a lot higher than i thought and it wound up coming out pretty much in the wash uh the stark necrofear from uh, labyrinth of nightmare unlimited yeah you can see that little denting on the back a little bit of scuffing a little bit of a little bit of corner right there But pretty. And then uh, EP1. Exclusive pack, I believe. Pretty good. Good condition. I don't believe a lot of these cards in the exclusive packs are very expensive. Being, I think, every single one has the exact same cards in the pack. Don't remember. I'll have to buy one and find out. I made mean, number 17... Bison Dragon, and this is where the, the card quality definitely picks up. These were definitely much, much better condition. All the rough ones were at the front, but somebody obviously cut open a pack and uh, got the bottom of that bad boy right there, so rip to that one's value. A number 67 pair of dice smashers, but it doesn't matter because we're collecting numbers, so it can be a little scuffy. That's fine. 
Uh, 67 was really good. Minty, minty. Nice, nice. Beautiful corners. A luster dragon from is it Legacy of Darkness. LOD. Man, I'll have to look that one up too. A little scuffing on the back, but generally really good condition. A little bit of dirt. A Gaia Dragon the Thunder Charger. First edition from Galactic Overlord. I just saw first edition Galactic Overlord and was like, you know what? We're going to take him home, see how much he's worth. A little dirt scuff, but that's all right. A solemn warning from the tens, I believe, CT08. It's good also, very good condition. A dimensional prison. I think this is one of the ones that got me by surprise. I should have bought his entire stack of Noble Knight, Noble Knights of the Rounds, but I didn't, I didn't want to sit there and look up that much card value and take up that much time. My uh, partner and I were having a good day walking around having fun. I didn't want to take too long with this deal. But the first one I set aside is this beautiful Noble Knight's effect failure. Tiny little scratch right there. But overall, it's again, really good condition. And depending on if we get Jackal from this box, those are from that mystery pack that we opened last video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday. I am freshly showered, ready to mine for some dopamine. And I believe, even though it's one of the worst sets in most people's opinion, you can still get collector rares out of this. And as long as it's shiny and pretty, Y'all already know we're good. Now we're going to start with this beautiful bottomless trap hole. Vitron Eclipse. Herald of Ultimateness. Ultimateness. Born from Dragonus. 96. Live Twin. Tris Majestus. And we are at 128, 250 subscribers. So if you enjoy openings like this, subscribe. Like the video, watch all the way through. Tell me what your favorite card was that you saw today. And uh, enjoy the openings. Perform Age Hat Tricker, Backup Secretary, Bottomless Trap Hole, and Beat Cup from the Underworld. We've also started selling on Whatnot. Uh, I'm holding all activity on Whatnot for now until we can get our name changed to, put, to be put under the Hatchet Gaming umbrella. But once that is changed, we are probably going to be selling uh, all day on Tuesdays for sure. And uh, we'll see where it goes from there. But uh, Nightmare Griffin, Majestus Invocation, Backup Secretary, Evil Twin GGEZ, Tritron Asterism, Majestus Theurgy, and Tritron Fafnir. I believe some of the Tritron cards are going up in value, so maybe those will definitely be worth looking at. And we'll see during the edits anyway. We got the Book of the Law, Majestus Britcher. Born from Draconis, Griffin, Delta Altaius, Vitron Eclipse, and Nina Ruru, the Majestus 
glass goddess. Well, she's pretty. Oh, nice. We got Sinet Regression. Bertrand Gamma L Tenon. Zeta. Graver of the Mark. Meteor Shower. Magistus Vitra. And Live Twin Lilla. I don't even know what rarities come in this. I know it goes up to ultra rare, collector rare, but I don't think there's anything else outside of that. Super rares, of course. Uh, invoked Octus, Invocation, World Lance, Damage Juggler, Cybers Gadget, Life Twin Channel, Iwas, the Magistus Spell Spirit. I'm not expecting a whole lot of this box. So if it does give us something good, even better. This is another one of the boxes that I got at a full game for $18. So didn't invest a whole lot into this. Uh, Rustabon, Star Drawing, Nightmare Unicorn, Cyber Angel Benton, Extra Foolish Burial. Hey! Probably, at the time, one of the better, best ultras out of the entire set, Artemis, the Majestus Moon Maiden. Hang out up there with Billy Bob. Star Drawing, Dreadfront Meteor Shower, Magellanica, Herald of Ultimateness. Beta Rustabon, Book of Law, and Droitron Medionis Quadrandids. That's right, I forgot how much Droitron stuff is in here. I think this actually might... I think this is actually the, the very first Genesis Impact box that we have opened on the stream. So, here we go. Cypress Gadget, Evil Twin Present, Vectron Eclipse, Invoked, and there's a Kiss a Kill. Hmm. Nope, no secrets. It just goes up to Ultra and Collector. GG Easy Noob. Dark Mist, Benton, Endymion, Theurgy, Gamma Eltanen, Impcantation, Bell Slime, Cello Slime. Hmm. Damage Juggler, Griffin, oh. These were having crimp issues like Dimension Force was. I have a crimp Starlight. Can I get a crimp uh, Collector Rare? I mean, it's kind of cursed to ask for one, but I wouldn't mind. It'd be kind of funny to put it right beside my Starlight uh, crimped Ghost Spell. Uh, Evil Twin Challenge. And Varum, the Majestus Divinity Dragon. Pretty dragon synchro that nobody uses. Sign that regression. Zeta. Foolish. Backup secretary. Unicorn. Engraver of the mark. And live twin Lilla. Again.
collector sets tend to be fairly cheap and low value, but every once in a while you get surprised. Invocation, World Lance, Damage Juggler, Cybers, Channel, and a third Lilla. Okay. Cybers Gadget. Evil Twin Present, Eclipse, Magellanica, Damage Juggler, Griffin, and another Beat Cup from the Underworld. And Collector Sets don't exactly have a huge pool of cards either. Do we only get like two Ultras out of the entire box? I wonder why people didn't like this set. We got Star Drawing, Meteor Shower, Invoked, Herald, Rastaban, Book of Law, and there's uh, the second Ultra out of the box, Evil Twin Lilla. Altaius, Phoenix, Challenge, Book of Law, Asterism, oh. and Chalice Slam again. Alright, oh, GGEZ, Dark Mist, Benton, Majesty's Magi Majesty, Mystery and secret password. Tron Fafnir. What are Drytron supposed to be like? Dragon mechs? Like Dragon Links? Or Cybers monsters? I don't know. Uh, Signet Regression. Zeta. Foolish. Secretary. Unicorn. Graver. Cyber Emergency. GGEC. Ultimateness. Hat Tricker. Okay, we haven't seen him yet. Meteor Shower. Ultima. And I was. Bottomless Trap Hole, Cyber's Gadget, Ritra, Book of Law, Magellanica, Hat Tricker, and Life Twin Home. Draconis, the Ten, Mark, Phoenix, Rastaban, Theurgy, and Crowley. Magistus of Grimoires. It's a new one. Well, for me. Challenge. Present. Juggler. World Lance. Delta. Phoenix. Oh! Oh! We get a third... We get a third Ultra. Hey, that's cool. Liliana, the Magistus of Ver. Vere. Three Ultras. Surprise, surprise. Can I get a Collector Rare? Asterism. Start drawing. Foolish. 
Unicorn, Twin Challenge, and Demion. And there's Kissakill. Oh, we're going to cut that part out. Well, no collector rare. So we're going to see if we can get ghosts out of these two. And we got Silent Angler, Levia Dragon, Marin says Crystal Heart, Bushsaw, and Forgotten City. Womp womp. Can we get a ghost out of Soul Burning? We got Transcendence, Switch Hitter, Charge. Well, 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 if it isn't my buddy, Salaman Great Raging Phoenix. Okay, all right. Maybe we didn't get a ghost, but we got a really good ultra out of that. Not bad. We will take it. All right. We have a few more chances at a collector rare. Runic Dispelling. Pendulum Switch, Eleventh Barrage, no Collector Rare, but that's okay. We got another chance with Amazing Defenders. Rindal, Fury Reese Map, XYZ Reborn, Gizmek. And Heavenly Gate of the Makonko. At least we got another Ultra. Grand Creators, I believe. Another. Collector set. We got Punk. Carpet Divim. Insector Pico Felina. Nada. And another crimp likely pack. Can we get a Starlight? General Probe. Ambitious. Symphonic. VLAN Hydra. And perform a pal, Lady Ange. Not bad, Billy Bob. But better luck next time. Well, we made a decent deal at the flea market. I think both of us should be satisfied with with the trade or the purchase. And um, well. Can't wait to see you guys on the next video. Later.